Hey guys, it's Spotter and I'm back with a new video. So today I thought I'd do a bit of a geeky video, so if you're not a geek, you might want to get the handle, you know, tweet it, scoop it. See, I'm even wearing my glasses for the geeky video, that's some into it I'm getting. So, yeah, obviously I mean business. So earlier this week, a trailer was released for a movie that I've been anticipating and waiting for for a, quite a while now. I loved all the other movies in the series, and seeing this trailer was fantastic. This trailer was, of course, the trailer for Jurassic World. I was so happy for this trailer to come out, because I love the Jurassic Park movies, so having a trailer for Jurassic World was so good. And Chris Pratt is in it, come on. Who doesn't love Chris Pratt? Yeah. I am very much looking forward to Jurassic World coming out. I think that will be an absolutely amazing movie. I just hope it doesn't let us down. Fingers crossed! It's just been too long since the last Jurassic Park movie came out, so yeah, this one is really going to get a lot of people going back to the cinema. And I think it's going to be fantastic. I really genuinely do. I mean, that year of genetic and modified dinosaurs as well as normal dinosaurs. Ah, oh, it's gonna be so good. And the raptors, come on, we've got to see some raptors in the trailer. That was brilliant. We can't beat some raptors. Raptors have always been my favourite dinosaur, followed by T Rex. Even if they aren't scientifically accurate in the movie, they're still awesome. And now, for the main trailer that I want to talk about. As of Friday the 28th, this trailer is now out. It is, of course, the teaser trailer for Star Wars Episode 7. The Force Awakens, and my god, I am hyped. It is so good. I mean, my god, Millennium like Falcon, TIE Fighters, X Wings, Speeders, a Sith Lord, Lightsabers, Stormtroopers. My little heart, my hands up, my little heart is exploding with geeky joy, and I am fangirling so hard for this trailer. I've had it on repeat since I saw it. If I've watched it too many times, that's a count. I've lost track of how many times I've rewatched it in the last two hours. And oh my god, it's so good. I mean, I am seriously so excited for this movie. You do not understand. I mean, I've grown up with Star Wars since, since I can remember, really. And yeah, this movie coming out is going to be so good. And have a trailer for it. And my god, nothing can be better right now. I am so hyped. I have high hopes for this movie. I genuinely think J.J. Abrams will do really well with it. I mean, he does a fantastic job with Star Trek. Granted, I've never seen the original Star Trek, but I did love the movies. So, I think it'll do very well with Star Wars. But from the trailer, it certainly seems like it will. And let's be honest, if he screws up Star Wars, he will most likely get hunted down and executed. So, J.J., don't screw up. I like the fact that for Entrance 7, The Force Awakens, they are going back using mechanical props instead of CGI for like aliens and stuff like that. I think it's a lot better at men than actual people in costumes for stock troopers rather than CGI clone troopers. I think it's a lot better and it just looks nicer in general. So yeah, you certainly do it right. And they're using actual proper film instead of digital cameras for filming it. And how do I know that? Well, simple, I was at a talk a week ago or two weeks ago with Thomas Gormley at my university and Thomas Gormley is the first assistant director of Star Wars Episode 7 The Force Awakens. You know, I actually met David Crouse once, you know, I was young, we were at a convention thing in Glasgow I think it was, and there were Stormtroopers there, people from all different movies were there, and I got a picture taken with David Crouse. We lost the picture unfortunately, and so that sort of sucks, but yeah, I met him. My dad asked him if I could get a picture with him and he just said, yeah, just jump under the table and come get a picture. So I went under the table, stood next to him, my dad got a picture and yeah, I did that my clip to face. I got a picture with Darth Vader. I'm going to put the link to both trailers down in the description. Definitely check them out because I will realize your life is going to be empty if you don't watch the trailer for Star Wars. So yeah, that's it for today guys. So if you want check out my previous video, I'll put up in that corner there, and be sure to check out my channel and subscribe, that means a lot to me and you'll get updated when I make a new video, so you know, that's a win-win for both of us, on top of that, be sure to go down to the comment section and comment if 
you want to geek out about either Jurassic Park or Star Wars or both. I'm happy to geek out about both in the comment section and I will happily geek out with anyone and everyone. So go down there and comment about it and we'll just have a big geek fest down there. What do you say? I like that idea. Right. So guys, just be sure to remember, may the force be with you. Always. Let my heart, my little heart, has exploded from the joy and I just hit myself in the face.